Jace Tunnel here. Uh, with this episode of Beach Coming, we're going to be talking to you about a sand crab. You might actually know these as a mole crab or sand flea is what a lot of people call them. Uh, a lot of fishermen use these for bait. Uh, but I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to walk up on this thing and uh, it uh, looks like it just died so it's fresh. It doesn't even, you know, it doesn't even smell really. Uh, but uh, I was looked a little closer to it and I noticed that it actually has uh, eggs. So it's a female. So you can see those orange looking little beads in there. Those are actually eggs. These things live just below the sand surface. So that's probably why you normally don't get to see these things. Now these things can actually swim pretty good. I got a live one here. They swim backwards. So if you ever see them going in the sand, they live their life in reverse. So they're always digging in uh, backwards. They're swim if you see them swimming, they're swimming backwards. But they have, uh, their legs are modified. And so they're not like a typical crab that has claws. So they, don't, they can't pinch you, they can't bite you, anything like that. Uh, but their paddles uh, that they have for legs uh, are, are for swimming and for burrowing. So they got special adaptations for that. Now you'll see, um, I told you they're at the swash zone. Now the swash zone moves with the tide. And so they will go back and forth and migrate back and forth depending on where that swash zone is. That's their favorite place to, to feed on plankton. And they actually use their antenna that are sticking up in the sand. That's what they'll uh, use to feed. Now things that like to eat them, fish love to eat these and you'll see birds they're like candy to birds so birds you'll see along the shoreline right at the water's edge uh, many times they're feeding on clams and stuff but lots of times they're feeding on these little crabs now they're more active at night time uh, as you'd expect uh, during the day you know birds and things can see them so if you want to be able to see them better maybe uh, in the evening times or at night times, a better time to come out. People actually eat these. And so there is a YouTube uh, channel that you can go on uh, that they cook exotic foods and stuff like that. But they actually peel off the uh, hard carapace on the outside of it and they eat the legs and all the meat that's attached to the legs and everything. And they'll eat it like it over rice. Yum, 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 yum. Now the orange mass that they have on there, they can actually have, the females can have 45,000 eggs and they can produce more after 30 days. So about whenever, the, in February to October is whenever they're having um, their, their eggs. Um, every month they can have like 45,000 eggs, a new batch. That's pretty incredible. That's why you can find so many of these here at the beach. Now they live uh, about two to three years. That's a pretty long time, as long as they don't get eaten by anything. And uh, these are found all over the world. And so it's not just here in Texas that we find these, but we find these all over the place. Okay, so I got them in my little tank here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let these guys go so they can live uh, for another day. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.